Mike and Mike, and we're doing it from scratch today with uh, Show Express uh, Part Two. Uh, we're going to be working in the 3D mode in the um, in the room section. Uh, as you can see, I'm in bed right now. <laughs> you can do this from anywhere. So uh, we're going to launch the uh, 3D view, and I just uh, built some groups for my fixtures and populated all the fixtures that I have. So my room is gray, as you can see in the top of the room. There's a hoop load of fixtures there. And we're just going to do a quick uh, little tutorial on how to set up your room a little bit. We'll try to get you going as best we can here. So um, uh, first thing I did was I uh, loaded the fixtures in the setup mode, and that populates them into the 3D viewer. I'm going to right click on the 3D viewer, and I'm going to go to stage settings. Uh, depending on the room size, you can, if your room is 20 foot wide by 10 foot high by 20 foot deep, uh, you can set your room dimensions, uh, whatever you need. You can set it in meters or feet. I'm going to go to feet, and you have the brightness of the room changing from real bright to dark. Uh, it all depends on what your, your feel is. You can change ground texture, and the drop down is right here. You can go uh, brick. You can take it to uh, stone, wood, all kinds of cool stuff, depending on what your room texture is or uh, whatever you have going there. You can make it sand. I think I'll make it sand. Uh, the front wall, back wall, let's see, let's go to the front wall, let's see where that is. Uh, you can make it curtains. I usually just mess with the back wall. Let's go with the back wall. And, uh, let me do curtain. There's the curtain look there. Or I, I had red curtains the last room I did. There we go, that's what I'm going to use. And now you can see the lights are starting to stand out a little bit more on your, on, in your room, so you can see them. And you can change the light colors uh, when we get to that section. I'll show you. Uh, left wall. Um, you know what? I'm not going to change. So I'm just going to close it. Actually, I need to set my room width. Uh, the room width is going to be uh, 50 feet, and I'm going to make it 100 feet deep. I'll make it 80 feet deep, 80 feet deep. Okay, so what we do here is we figure out what fixtures are what, and um, the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to color them a little different, so I'm going to right click and go to stage setting, uh, fixture settings. And then if I select my first AccuSpot, actually you can control click on the, no you can't, let's see, let's pull. now I got to do each one at a time. Okay, so you click on the first AccuSpot, and we are going to change the color and you can select a little palette here make it real easy all my active spots are going to be that yellow color and hit OK and it'll turn it that color so the next one color and it's going to be that yellow color and hit OK and number three color And number four, color, and you get the you get the picture. Oops. And then now you can see the acu spots a little bit better, and you know which ones those are. Uh, next is going to be the LED rain 56s. So I'm going to make those a different color so I can find them around the room. I think the last time I had them was red. So let's go to color. I'm going to make them all, uh, make them like light pink. That'll work. So that's going to be like light pink, and hit OK. And now we got to go down the list for all of my LED rings. Now when you export a show, you can export your show and save room, different rooms. So if you have different rooms, you can just export your show as that room. And then when you go back to that room, just import that as you save the scenes in that same room. So you can have a gymnasium set up, you can have your outside set up, you can have your inside uh, uh, wedding facility, whatever you want. Export it as a room, import it back in. As long as your fixtures are the same addressing, you'd be fine. Uh, I usually never change mine, so they're, they're good there, and uh, you'd be good to go. Uh, so basically, that's how you do it. Uh, changing all the colors, we'll just show you real quick here. Uh, I'm going to X out, and I'll do the rest of the colors in a little bit. But say now I want to... Uh, oh, also, we have... Um, objects. You can add objects to the room. 
So I want to put some trussing in here. I just want to put a couple uh, square trusses in here. Uh, ladder truss. I want square truss. Uh, square truss. Uh, let's go four meter square truss. No, let's go two meter square truss. And hit OK. How do I hit OK? Double click on it. Oh, double click. And that adds it to the room. Okay, so now you, now you see it in the room down there on the bottom. We can drag this around, and we can change the orientation by turning the uh, these button these slide levers here and rotate. I believe. Where's the rotate? Oh, orientation. Rotate, and now you can spin it. There we go. Turn it. So if you want vertical trussing in your room. Room. And position. And then there you go. Now I have one vertical truss in the room. So now all I have to do is take grab a moving head. I'll hit an X out of this. And now I just go to the moving head and I can go to uh, pictures, orientation. Like my active spot, and I can move it around oops, the room by using the slide levers, and I can place it. Oops, right here. Oh, that's orientation. I want to show I want. There we go. And I can place it right on the, the vertical truss. Okay, it might take a little doing, but and then you can move the room around and see if you're even close. <laughs> So it takes a little bit of time to set up your room, but once you get it there, you, it looks a little, really cool, and uh, you're good to go. Okay, so if you notice that my active spot is upside down compared to the uh, the vertical truss. So you just go back to um, orientation of the active spot and spin it upside down. Okay, active spot, and then spin it upside down. All right side up. There we go. So 180 degrees would be perfect. 180. That'd be straight up and down. And notice it's just a little bit off of the vertical truss. So we go back to position, and then lift over there, go up, and there. Okay, now notice the... Um, Notice the truss is bigger than. Let me show you. It's kind of hard to see. Let me scoot back a little bit. Okay, the video is getting a little long, but notice the truss is smaller than the active spot. You can go back to. Oh, X out of this. You can go back to stage settings, uh, object settings, and select your square truss that's in the room, and scale it and make it fatter or taller however you want to uh, to accomplish that and there you go see how you can make it fatter and then that way your truss will be the right size for your there we go that'll be the right size for your active spot however, you, however it works for you alright so this is DJ Mikey Mike this is kind of the uh, first little uh, setup of the 3D viewer, the 3D mode. Uh, it, it works really good. You can set up your rooms any way you want. Uh, works awesome uh, in a live uh, setting. You can kind of uh, set up your, your room, set up all your lights just like I'm doing here in bed, and uh, you're good to go when you get to the show. Uh, you don't, Basically, you only have to set your light show up once completely just to make sure that what you see in your 3D viewer, your lights are actually doing. So if you're panning left in the 3D viewer, just look at your light, and if it's panning left, uh, you're you're on the right track. If not, then you just might have to hit reverse in the uh, setup mode, and then your your objects will look correct in your 3D viewer. All right, DJ Mikey Mike with Direct Sound, doing it from scratch with Show of Show Show Express 6.0. Peace.